How to Swim is probably one of the most dated of the goofy how-to Disney shorts, and I absolutely love it. This was released in 1942, directed by Jack Kinney, produced by Walt Disney, and stars uh, Pinto Colvig as the voice of Goofy with John McLeish narrating. And as with the rest of the how-tos, the narrator discusses how to swim and how to go to the beach and how to dress for swimming at the beach while Goofy acts out what's being said on the screen. And straight away I felt that this would be dated because the first thing that's mentioned is how to dress. And Goofy is wearing... A, well, I actually believe it's a two-piece, but it covers most of his body, a very dated 40s swimsuit that I love. I love the style of them. I, th- I'd lo- I wish they'd come back. I think they're brilliant. Straight away that dated it. And then we get to the beach, and actually before we get to the beach... Goofy practices his swimming on a stool. And I love that. I just thought it was brilliant. He ends up swimming in front of trucks and things. It's peculiar. But I really like that. And I kind of like the idea of practicing swimming outside of water. I hate being in water. So for me, this isn't really something I'm watching for educational purposes. Purely for fun. But I thought that was pretty pretty sweet. And then obviously, um, Goofy gets to the beach. And... He gets changed in one of those little huts. I've never been to a beach that has those little huts where you're supposed to get changed. I don't know if they even exist. I'm, I'm, I'm sure they do, but I don't know if it's just that I don't go to the right beaches. Maybe we haven't got the weather for them to be used enough in the UK. But I really liked the animation style of this. I thought the scenes had enough in them to make them feel realistic. But also, it was quite unrealistic insofar as Goofy was underwater with an umbrella. It's, you know, it's, take it with a pinch of salt in terms of um, accuracy, but it's a lot of fun. I really like this one. I found the animation style to be really pleasing. The background music was really lovely. The narration was uh, really engaging. In terms of being engaging and being entertaining, I think this is one of the strongest how-tos that I've seen so far. My favourite one will always be the baseball one because I'm just really fascinated by baseball, but also not very knowledgeable about it. So that actually appeals to me. But this one ticks all of the right boxes for being interesting and fun and a little bit silly. It is quite silly in a lot of ways. It's probably one of the most unrealistic. But it is obviously quite informative. Very dated, yes, but absolutely worth watching. It's good fun. It's only eight minutes. And honestly, I don't think I can find fault with it. It is good fun. Absolutely worth watching.